Hi everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials on the um, AUV3 MIDI Strummer plugin for Four Pockets. Um, uh, as always, before I start on the video, there are a number of free codes available for this application. So if you would like to win one copy of this new fantastic app from uh, Four Pockets, please send an email to soundformore at gmail.com. Please remember this is only for uh, uh, for subscribers to the Sound for More channel. So let's start. We are inside uh, a UM, so we create a, a new audio channel and we search for something called Strama. Here it is, Strama FX. So let's open it up. So and let's maximize the screen. So um, if you used New Rack, you probably recognize the interface because we have. Um, a plugin in there in new rack which has um, um, contains part of the new midi strama app from four pockets <clears throat> it's really an extract uh, uh, from new rack which is welcome because it makes it into its own application so let's go through the interface and see what we have available so starting on the top left hand side we have a uh, um, a representation of a code with the normal six strings and you can see the open codes and also the new codes and you can click on them to play the codes and you see the name of all the strings you can strum down you can strum up you can just hold if you hold this ARP button it will play practically the pattern that you see here okay and what you can do when it's playing, you can also exam, um, mute some of the code. It gives you that nice effect. For example, let me play the variation here, and then I I will mute. I will use the mute button. So it's really nice that you have the ability to create the mute effect. So here you have your drum, uh, sorry, your uh, pattern editor uh, with your uh, strings here and the different steps uh, on, on um, uh, horizontally here which you can choose you can click to put an event there or you can click and hold to make it a different event you can move them as well like so what you see in green move up and down to set the velocity like so right and you double click to actually remove them as well um, <clears throat> here you can set the type of variation which is being played Okay, here you can set the length of the uh, steps. So, for example, you can go to 32 and then you can scroll left and right, like so, to see um, the additional steps. You can also decide which channel is used for transmission. You can set the tempo. Okay, in this case, it is hosted by the um, it, it is uh, controlled by the host application. You can load the song, like here, like so. For example, let's load this. Uh, electric strumming and here it will show you that for example you have um, <clears throat> uh, strumming here um, which are represented with the arrows up and down which gives you up strum or down strum as well you can save the song you can go to the help uh, um, screen as well um, <clears throat> moving on you have a, a button to play the variation to do, um, turn on the arp <laughs> which is um, is really nice you can set it to have 12 strings instead of six you can change the representation to left hand here on the chord like so you can decide to generate a new set of chords for example I start with a on the root and minor you can see the chords have changed here okay you can relax uh, the rules. I cover these in another tutorial, but you can see that you can hear the difference. Going lower an octave at the beginning. You can uh, you can synchronize it. So you can in terms of chord changes, you can have a chord change every four bits at the end of the pattern. On the next bit, you can also reset the pattern um, every time there is a chord change or continue playing as you prefer. You can set to have sound font being played, or if you deactivate that, it will send. You will not use the internal sound. You can kill all the notes, of course. Then moving on in terms of understand a little bit more of the interface, you can uh, click on different chord as it's playing. For example, okay, 
here is where you can choose the different um, um, root note so in this case is minor so the e and is minor there you can choose also the inversion here different choices as well for the chords you can host it you can sync to the host tempo as well then moving on we have a number of control underneath here you can set the velocity you can set the change the arp speed <clears throat> Let's disable it. You can change the speed of the strumming. You can change the octave as well. change the velocity curve so that it will affect our um, louder notes plays versus uh, softer notes you can add some variation to the velocity you can also randomize the picking which is really interesting listen to the difference <laughs> So it becomes less perfect, which gives you uh, the feeling that is more human, uh, the play. You can also change the, the release effectively of the length for the notes, as it says here, which is particularly affecting how long the, the notes are retained. Moving down, we have the selection of different wavetables, which you can also import and delete. And within that wavetables, which are sound fonts, you can also uh, select the instrument that you would like to use. In this case, there is just a simple subset. You can check the output level there. Here you have a graphic EQ, which is really, really good, which allows you to adjust the different, um, uh, effectively, gains for a different frequency. And um, and then here you have a, you start to look, to see a number of effects. So you have a, a tube overdrive with a distortion, but if you move to the left, you reveal other effects like the tremolo, the multi choir, uh, the phaser, tape delay, reverb, uh, and the general output. So lots and lots of options, which we'll go through in each tutorial. And to some extent, these options are actually quite straightforward to understand if you use the uh, previous effect in other uh, applications. Moving down, here you have a section where you can create your songs. So you can decide which variation are being played for each of the chords in the chain, uh, which is shown here. <clears throat> you can rewind the song, you can play the song, you can put it in a loop mode, you can change how patterns are reset or not reset if they continue to play. And then you can choose if you have six or 12 strings. Here are the chords which have been put on a chain, so from the first to the last one. So if I click place, and as I've set it to loop mode, it will start again. And then if here you can decide to I have a section where you can that you can use to add chords. So, for example, you click on Add, and you can choose which chord to add, and a minor, and it will appear there. You can ins choose a position and insert a chord instead of adding it at the end. You can replace a chord, or you can create an empty. So, for example, you click on empty, and uh, on um, effectively the chain here on the step number six, you have created an empty position which will not be played. And you can, at the same time, uh, remove codes. You can delete, for example, one, which will remove it. Or you can go in a position, just say clear, and it will make it empty. Or you can say clear them all, which will ask you yes or no. You can change the length um, of playing. So, for example, let's add an A minor. This will say times four. And you can click on the plus times five, six, etc. And then you can also act on the usual a cut, copy and paste selection so that you can move things around. So um, really a nice uh, uh, introduction in terms of a new app, um, which um, uh, we have seen a, a part of it in Iraq. So it's, it's definitely the best strummer available out there. And it's not only a strummer,
because you can create your own pattern yeah, as you like so you can use it as an arpeggiator as well and you can decide also not to use the internal sound font and therefore use an external instrument which makes it perfect to strum uh, you know sounds from other synth or arpeggiate um, sounds from other strings so i hope um sorry from other instruments so i hope you enjoyed and as always see you next time bye